Igor Mihailovich, Jana. Some people who are just getting acquainted with the Elatra International Public Movement or who have superficial contact with the Elatra Movement ask themselves, what is Elatra as the international movement? Yes, they understand that it's a huge worldwide movement, that Elatra engages in social projects, fundamental research and holds conferences with thousands of venues and interpreting into dozens of languages of the world. There are a lot of projects and areas in Elatra, including climate, medicine, scientific studies, research in physics, metaphysics, as well as IT, in particular the artificial consciousness Jackie. Here is another point. If various organizations, including religious organizations, some sects, fit everything under one scenario of some sort, under one ideology, and try to explicitly demonstrate their large scale, that's how big we are, what giants we are, by declaring the number of their participants, Alatra, on the contrary, acts according to some completely different principles. First of all, it is diverse and multifaceted from the scope of activities to the composition of the participants. And there is also a comparison that it's all sort of scattered around the world, a little bit here, a little bit there, but there is a little bit in every city of the world. And the bottom line is that Alatra is everywhere. In Alatra, there are representatives of various religious denominations, people professing Zoroastrianism, Hinduism, Christianity, Islam, people who practice ancient power practices, people who believe in aliens, in shamanism, in voodoo. And among them, there are plenty of atheists in Alatra who are digging into facts. So a layman has a question. What is actually going on? What kind of a motley mix is this? Hence, I was asked to address a question to you. So I'm asking you, Igor Mihailovich, what is Alatra? Alatra is not a what. Alatra, my friends, is a who. Alatra is all of us. Alatra is humanity. That's what Alatra is. Just as in all of our humanity, in Alatra there is everyone. As you have already listed, there are Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, those who practice shamanism, and plenty of atheists. This is really so. Alatra is a new and unique phenomenon in general that has never existed in this world. This is indeed so. For some reason, they try to fit us into some kind of a pattern. After all, people's consciousness always tries to fit something new into some understandable framework, right? So they try to do the same to Alatra. Some people try to fit Alatra into some political trend, alleging that Alatra engages in geopolitics. Others try to fit Alatra into some religious trend, into a sect. So they say, it's some kind of a mixture of some strange religion, that it has a little bit of everything from everywhere, and it's as if something new, there are attempts to impose something on someone, and so on. Again, all this is happening because people observe Alatra superficially, as you have already said, and judge partly based on Alatra TV, on our videos, on what I say, or on what other people say. So, after familiarizing themselves with it a little bit, you know, after conducting sort of an analysis, as they say, well, the analysis is conducted, again, based on what they see and literally bit by bit from everywhere, without going into the essence of Alatra International Public Movement. Therefore, they make hasty and, I would say, wrong conclusions about what Alatra is. But Alatra is not a what. Alatra is a who. Alatra is all of humanity. It is diverse just like our entire humanity. After all, we are all different, right? Right. Everyone has their favorite politicians and their favorite performers. It's the same in Alatra. In Alatra there are politicians, representatives of different religions, I mean clergymen, and believers from all over the world. After all, today, as you have said, there is indeed not a single corner left where there are no representatives of Alatra. They are everywhere. Everywhere there are those who have understood the essence of what Alatra is and have joined in. Again, as of today, Alatra is objectively growing very fast. And the question is, why? 
I know that many are concerned. It's such a phenomenon. Some are worried, and some are just wondering, what is so special about Alatra? And for some reason, a lot of people attribute this to me. They say that I'm kind of the leader of Alatra. Guys, there is no leader in Alatra. There is one leader in Alatra. It's a human being. And Alatra is, first and foremost, humanity. That's the essence of Alatra itself. And what is Alatra united on? A simple question. On humaneness. On that best which is in all of us. That is why there is no leader as such. No one is either superior or inferior. Alatra is something new. And I would say it is so unique that today it's impossible to give it a definition of what it is. I understand that some people, again, based on superficial knowledge and patterns in their heads, will start attributing us to some organization, again, inventing some patterns for us, like sect, politics, some geopolitical trend, or something else. Guys, we already talked about this before. To be honest, we don't really care what you call us. But in each of you, there is that particle which reaches out to Alatra. This is indeed so. Because today, what is being discussed in Alatra and what unites everyone in Alatra, it unites even those people who haven't heard and aren't familiar with Alatra yet. But the time will come, and Alatra will be known to everyone, and Alatra will live in everyone. That is true. So, people from our whole number, and as of today, how many do we have? 7 billion and more than 800 million. Million. So, Alatra lives in more than 99%. Alatra is God's love, if we speak the language of religion. Again, why do we often use religious terms? Why do we talk a lot about God? Because who else is there to talk about, my friends? Because the reality is that today, out of those 7.8 billion people, 6.6 .6 billion are people who profess one or another religion. That's official. And in fact, all of us, even atheists, all of us feel that there is something, something good. And even the worst among us who think, that's it, I'm so bad, I'm kind of sinful in everything, to the point that they deny God. And love for Him still lives in those of us who deny God, and hope for the best still lives, and we still want what is best. Even those who manipulate the masses just to elevate their crown, you know, to make a little money or something else. I mean, those few tyrants who remain in this world. They are human beings, just like us. And they have a lot of good and humane qualities too. It's just the conditions are such. The conditions of the consumerist format in which we all live. And there are these rules of the game here, which were imposed on us as humankind 6,000 years ago. They made us live precisely under such rules where man is wolf to man, where the worst that is in us, in people, is dominant in society, and the world is built according to such bestial laws. Yes, we write beautifully and correctly, but we act not humanly. We act with hatred, with inhumanity towards each other, while internally, in reality, we seek love, joy, and peace. We all want a good world, a peaceful world, don't we? And this understanding, this best, the best that people have, what is called humaneness, this is what precisely unites people in Alatra, and this is what we are united on. In Alatra, we have representatives of many different political trends. There are many politicians, there are a lot of politicians in different countries. There are many clergymen of various religions in our international public movement as well. But what unites us? A simple question. It is humaneness that unites us. We are united by what we call love for one another or God's love. 
isn't it so? All of us actually want good things. Everything passes, no matter what we do, no matter how we fight over someone else's territory to take something away from them, no matter how we pursue private, personal interests of some kind, everything will pass. It is clear that the situation itself, the very consumerist format, forces us to be deluded. However, Alatra is precisely that pure water, which washes off the stupidity of consciousness and which enables every person to breathe deeply and to live with love. To be a human — this is what unites. And the entire secret of Alatra is that we do our best, we learn to love each other, despite the fact that we are different. That's what the whole secret is about. Tell me, what is bad about loving each other, about respecting each other? I understand that some people might say, how can I love someone I hate? He is an enemy, and he has come to me. Friends of mine, if we don't learn to love each other, we won't learn to love God either. And if we don't learn to love God, what is the point of this life? In hatred? In filth? In domination? To live like animals? After all, animals live by domination. Why? Because they don't have a soul and don't have love. They only have consumption and struggle for power. But we are people, we are not animals. This is really so. And everyone knows this. More than 99% of people know and share this. And more than 99% of people want to live in such a society. And we must build it. This is not geopolitics. This is a need. This is what our prophets told us about. This is what they really wanted. And so we, an enormous mass of people, billions and billions of people, we supposedly live according to the Prophet's behests. But in actual fact, no, we don't live according to their behests. We live to the dictation of greed, to the dictation of lies, deception, pridefulness, and everything that is imposed on us by the consumerist format. Isn't it so? Yet, what do we want? We want simplicity. We really want a clear sky, peace in the whole world, love, and respect for each other. We want to travel across the world with no worry and know that it is our world, not like here is my house and that's it, while that is my neighbor's house and I'm not allowed to enter it. In order to enter it, I need a bunch of papers or something else. Guys, you have to agree, it is stressful. We just want to live as one big family, to eliminate discord, to eliminate squabbles, simply to live, to live as the prophets bequeathed to us. Isn't that right? It is. And this very simple, natural desire to live like humans, to really live according to the behests of our prophets, this is exactly the essence of Alatra. And what can we call it? What kind of organization is it? Well, it is simply humanity. You cannot call it otherwise. I would say these very best qualities, the very best qualities of people, this is precisely the crystal lattice of the diamond itself, I would say, which is Alatra actually today. Yes, it has numerous facets, but the structure is one — humaneness. Also, when labels are pinned on Alatra, allegedly, Alatra believes in aliens. By the way, is this Alatra's official position or not? Or Alatra speaks about magic, the shadow control project on Alatra TV disturbs some people. Of course. Or the fact that Islam is discussed a lot. Is Alatra only for Muslims? You know, this question is interesting to me as well. Why? If we have talked, for example, about aliens, then that's it. It's the official position of Alatra that believes in aliens. Friends of mine, for you to understand, there are many people in Alatra who are really keen on ufology. There are people who saw unexplainable phenomena and understand that aliens actually exist. There are people who laugh at that and don't believe in aliens. Why? Because they themselves haven't encountered them. You know, it's like… I will give a simple example. In Israel there is the Dead Sea. Do you believe in it? I believe, but I don't know. I haven't been there. I haven't been there either. I haven't checked it personally. I haven't been there and haven't checked it either. So, should I now disbelieve that there is the Dead Sea in Israel? You know, I actually disbelieve that there is the Dead Sea there. Why? Because it is already alive. Fish have appeared there. And this is one of the things predicted in the past.
it is actually a bad sign. But the fact remains a fact that there is even no Dead Sea in Israel anymore, because life has appeared there. Nonetheless, let's say, the Dead Alive Sea, should we believe in it or not? We should check. Or should we check? If you doubt, you go ahead and check. You yourself study and then draw conclusions. But when you do it superficially, that's manipulation, banal manipulation. When people begin to solve their problems or simply have no one to vent their anger and inner filth at, so they try, you know, as people do that, to purify themselves and the poor filth on someone. When they pour it on me, that's fine, guys. What can you do? Such is life. But when they pour it on the entire Alatra movement, guys, this is actually entire humanity. How can you? Are you not ashamed of pouring filth on the entire humanity? On yourselves. After all, as of today, and Tatiana is right, Alatra is all over the world. The entire humanity is in Alatra. And this is important. There are representatives of the entire humanity, of all parties, all religions, representatives of all sciences. Isn't that so? It is. Also, some people try to superficially form their idea of Alatra International Public Movement based on Alatra TV. Guys, Alatra TV is only one of the little projects of Alatra International Public Movement. And it is impossible to draw any conclusions based on Alatra TV. It's just one little project that covers a very small part of what is being done by the participants of Alatra International Public Movement all over the world. This is really so. Again, which Alatra TV? We actually have plenty of Alatra TV in nearly all languages of the world, in various cities, countries, regions and districts. Based on which Alatra TV do people draw conclusions when they watch it? A simple question. In which language? Thank you. Isn't that so? Also, Igor Mikhailovich, there are certainly no analogues of such movement as Alatra in the world. And many people really try to figure out this phenomenon of Alatra. They understand how quickly growing this movement is. Indeed, as you already answered, people have questions as to what attracts people so much. They say that Alatra is like an iceberg. The top is visible, while the major part of what is happening cannot be seen. Of course, there are many questions which you have answered a little bit earlier regarding what attracts people in Alatra so much. But they also wonder where Alatra's money comes from, because monthly provision for such an organization costs millions and millions of dollars, according to their minimal estimations. What does it mean? Millions and millions. And who counted? It is somehow… Igor Mikhailovich, the question is acute. Where does the money come from? They say that Alatra has more money than the Vatican. All intelligence services of the world are searching because Soros, for example, wouldn't have enough money to organize and support such a tremendous movement as Alatra. It is said that, for instance, production of only one film, Atlantis, The Elite in Search of Immortality, costs more than one million dollars. And if we talk about a more large-scale project, such as the Universal Grain, the estimated cost of this project, according to United Nations pricing, is tens of millions of dollars. So the question is straightforward. Where is the money from? God gives it. I understand that for people who don't even believe in God, this answer is somewhat tricky. But, you know, as a matter of fact, God actually gives it. He sends inspiration to some people, and a person gives rise to some project, an idea of the project itself. To others, he sends an opportunity to implement it. Right? Well, those very funds. Right. And to still others, he sends enthusiasm, ardor, and willingness to execute it. And the project is born. Isn't that so? It is. Therefore, friends, no matter how funny it looks, it is actually God who gives it. God gives us life, God 
gives us opportunities, those opportunities which we implement not for ourselves, but for people, for making the Prophet's dream come true, for something good. That's when, indeed, God helps everyone who wants to do and does what is good, not those who accumulate for themselves and deprive poor people of the last penny. Those get help from the devil, from Satan. But it's not for long, it is temporary. They know this, that's why they are so embittered. While to normal people God gives. That's why each of them does what they can. Someone generates ideas, someone helps financially with that very money, while someone goes ahead and implements. That's where the money is from. Yet, what's the point? Just tell me. I understand people's question. I honestly understand it. And indeed, all services of the world have been searching for our money. This is true. And they continue searching. And the first thing which sounds is that Alatra is a sect that has a lot of money, and the money is supplied to them. Some say this country supplies, others say it's that country. Well, you know, such a fight is going on. And they throw it at each other, like in badminton with this. Racket. Racket, yes. Back and forth. Right. They throw a shuttlecock back and forth. The same as shuttlecock, yes. So Alatra is like a shuttlecock. It's a project of these secret services, it's a project of those secret services, some said it's Soros' idea, and so on. Guys, we don't mind. If you want to help, just help. Even that very Soros invests a lot, a lot in good as well. A lot? I don't know it what else. Some people say that he invests in some political movements, but on the other hand, if he as a person wants to do at least something great and good, well, why not support, let's say, the Alatra movement? We actually don't mind. It's just that, do you know what the point is? The point is that no organizations and no countries help us. I'm saying this with regret, it is really so. Would funds do any harm? They wouldn't. We could do more. But we ourselves, we people, solve these issues ourselves. We don't actually do it like other organizations do. We don't collect money and don't accumulate it, because we know that it is pointless to collect valuables somewhere where a thief breaks in, or someone comes and takes it away, or, pardon me, it just disappears. At Alatra we accumulate the highest values, the true wealth derived from the Russian word «bogatyrit», meaning to accumulate God, to accumulate His love. This is the highest value. And again, we have already said, Alatra is all of humanity, and no matter how you twist it, everything belongs to humanity. That's where the money comes from. The most important and the main thing is that many of us do it all just from the heart, in our free time, at our own expense, even at a loss, so to speak. But we do for people. And you know, when you act this way, you actually feel good inside, you feel better inside, when you have spent time not online on the couch or going, I don't know, hunting with men, shooting animals, drinking vodka or playing cards, you know, an ordinary man's life but actually on communicating with friends, talking about good things, about love. And the meaning of life is much more pleasant than killing someone, even if it is just a hair. What harm has it done to me? Why should I kill it? After all, I am sated. And since I am sated, why would I want anything in excess? Isn't that so? That's the point. And that's what unites. The truth and love is what unites. Thank you.